Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is the build. Can't go without an operator and can't go without energy, so everything else is on. Boop. 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 Let's give it a try. Oh wait, we want to go solo. Here goes nothing. Here goes So I'll kind of use a book here. A book, an energy pizza, I mean. Mm -hmm. And just keep dodging those little ghosts. Yeah, we're doing kind of alright. I don't know how we're gonna take on the necromancer. Though. That's the that's one of the main issues. We can do it just fine with incarnons. We can do it fine with insane builds like Varuna, Excalibur, and so on. But yeah, when it's like this, a little bit painful, not gonna lie. Okay, this is where we got to last time, and we had a brawl for a long time. And it was fun, but just couldn't really progress past it, to be honest. This and the next hallway. We hung out there pretty much. Can't you into the distance? Of course we can. And it is down. Are we actually killing the Nekomek with our book? Kind of. Slowly but surely, yes. Okay, so this run with Noctua is actually going a lot better. I feel like we just have to keep our buffs up and deal with them. Did we lose our owls just now? I think so. 
So somehow we are able to sustain the energy economy of Mercury. Those things need to die super fast. Oh, mercy, perfect. This run has been going so much better than the, the first run, where I was trying to nuke things with tragedy. Turns out, Archon Flow Noctua is amazing, despite what it might seem like for energy economy with Arcane Velocity. And refresh our cards. We are almost done. Crazy. Crazy. Should have put a secondary outburst on, but oh well. Finish in style. There we go. First of the three missions done. Done, done, done. We basically exclusively used the Noctua. But once we had that down, missions started going pretty fast, huh? And on this mission, we actually nuke things in the distance, so that's going to be nice. And it's alchemy, so we just got to get to the objective. One of these. Oh, pro trick. We can carry it in void mode, and then we're immune to the damage. That is nice. I just thought of that. Oh! And I got cocky and got down. Let's hope we can raise ourselves. Yes, we get back up instantly. Probably shouldn't have left my Dante in that spot for such a long time. Get our buffs back up. And start nuking away. Nuke this way, nuke that way. Nuke every way. So much going on, can't even see. Crazy. And because we're playing so low, it is super fast. Which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, first mission was a bit slow. That would have definitely been a lot quicker in the uh, squad, but. This is nice and speedy. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing how they just absolutely melt? Okay. We need to get our owls up again. Three plus two, two plus three. Oof. And of course, shield is priority. Meek. Oh, kill it. No necromech. No thanks. Yeah, we're in Yukon so fast and so much that. Screen is filled with effects. Huh. 
how easy it was to get that three times combo definitely makes me feel like missing out on the secondary outburst. I wasn't actually feeling very optimistic with getting past stage one. I was just doing it because I told myself I would. And now here we are, stage two, and pumping through it. Absolutely shredding through it. Yeah, people who subsume knocked you off are really missing out on something, as you can see. Take care with our shield. <gasps> oh, we gotta go. <laughs> Almost failed the mission because we weren't paying attention to these things. Jesus. That was a bit intense. Ooh, here, here, here. That was a bit much. And it's annoying how similar this icon is to these icons over here. Poof. Luckily, we can see them on the minimap. That was kind of close to a fail, not gonna lie. Nuke, nuke. Did nothing, but Noctua does everything. And it's now over there, so, okay. Mm -hmm. That's high ground. Even the necromech shall not stand in our way. Right? He told himself. Focus. Yeah, charges insanely fast when you have uh, arcane velocity. It's quite painful to play with Nocturne without it. I would not revise. Even though it still does decent damage, it's just somehow the slowness. Which... Just fire now. And there's a necromic there, taking deadly spot for damage. And here's a 
fire rune, so to speak. Cold. No, fail. I thought I picked up the wrong one, and then it's just gonna throw it away. Ah, something hit me. Hard. Kite and run. These necromex men. Oof. These necromex. Yeah, if we fall off the map, our overguard gets reset. Like, GG. Thanks. Okay. Play it safe, get to the next. Next over here. Here. And there we go, 74%. Probably all done now. Yeah, 92. Extract! <laughs> Stage 2 complete, what do you know? Why am I even nuking these? They will not give me anything. Why you do this? Why you do this, man? This is so stupid. Hmm. Come on. <gasps> Don't leave your frames unattended. <laughs> High level sounds. Because I almost just died, as you saw. Really is a kind of split second thing. Just that one modifier makes such a huge difference, being able to nuke from a distance. Like, huge. Hmm, what's that? Oh, okay. I thought it was a soma cord. Uh, blinding. It's blinding me. I'm sorry, it's just so much fun nuking crap out of this stuff. Oh, oh, <laughs> exit, leave. <laughs> I was gonna look for the Boko, but then it one shot our overguard, so no. Stage three, wow, this was um, kind of unimaginable yesterday. Okay, stage three is double demolishers. And we cannot fail a single one, so now what I'm gonna do can get my get all my buffs, get all my energy rolling. Okay. And then we can go. Come on, pump us up. There we go. Crack 
plastic roll into the distance. Little equilibrium shard is doing quite nicely too, actually. Ah, got our first little drop. Okay, uh, don't know if we can really kill these demolishers, and these ones are in two different places, so that's painful. Let's hope. Shoot him in the back. Mm, probably not. Probably can't do it, I feel. Because this one is super close. And we have to just... Yeah, so tough. If they're like in the same place, that would be nice. Oh, no, 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 don't fail. Okay, we're allowed to fail one. Yeah, that was, that was definitely tricky. I think we let our buffs run out too. I kind of think that was a thing. There is a grizzling, but here is also a key, so... Duo of this would be so much easier. For sure. Okay, ready to nuke. And three. And this other grizzling. Jesus. Come on. I'm the real. Let's see if we swap this one. Where it is. Don't tell me it's the same one. No, it's not. But they're in the same, they're towards the same area. Okay. That's fine. Totally fine. And there we are. Please spawn together, guys. It's too tough when you're too far away from each other. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. Maybe we can even clip them. Yeah. So, Major's lockdown is working. And did we already get one down? Yeah, got one down. Okay. That was a little bit hair-raising, but I think as long as we manage one from that stage... Oh no, we have to get eight conduits. That's, that's the win condition. Whoa, okay. So what you would do in a full squad of um, four is you would have two go for each conduit, one conduit and two for the other, and then you'd be done pretty quickly, but yeah, solo lines. And the thing is, this isn't even on four modifiers, so... Two 
tether them down. Nuke. 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 Oof. No, don't die. Rolling guard. Ow. It can nuke too. I think that's what it wanted to say. <sighs> kind of intense, but I like it that way. So. Out of energy. Should use an energy pizza before we insert this ducket. Oh, that's horrible. That's just nasty. Energy is decent. No, that is so shit. I hate it when they spawn in different areas. It's just like impossible. Solo. Okay, if we kill it fast enough. thing is, we need to go upstairs and shut it down. Yep, might be too late. Might already be too late. If it gets like one sprint off, then it's too late. Okay, wow, we managed. I did not think we would manage. What? Buffs, buffs, buffs. Nukes, nukes, nukes. Dante's design is so fluid. Like, he's just my favorite frame because his kit gels together so well. It's just, I don't know, hard to explain how nicely everything fits. Just has such a nice synergy in like, everything. Again, but we are turbocharged right now. As you can see, mm, and still got there so quickly. Did it again? What the hell? Okay, going in the wrong direction. And let's sneak him down. With this. Okay, we got the same same key glyph twice. 
this one first because it's already on the upper level. Come on, no. Ah, lost a few seconds there. And we didn't have our buff actually. Did not have this. What? Oh, it's Presley looking. Okay. This guy already managed to get up here. God, yeah. Thank God we need to tell. Book Warden faded. It's back up. Someone call the artillery. Mm. Yeah, I didn't have the nuke ready. Actually. No, they're all gone? What? Okay. So we need three more. We need three more kickers. And FBF spikes. Just head in this general direction. Get some owls. There's our key. Sweet. There, yeah, because the um time on this melee is so slow, the attack. It's actually quicker if we use 5-5 five, five to transform. Okay. One here, one there. Gonna go for this one first. So yeah, the back is vulnerable. Okay. Yeah. Decent. Managed it. He said and died. <laughs> For Gordon, we need what are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Poidrig? What just turbocharged us even more? Did our attack speed go up another? Yeah, what the hell is this? Hmm. Don't have the birds. Um, let's go for this one because we can just walk down. Oof. Zoom, zoom. Ouch. Ouch again. I have one more. Just need one more, guys, and then we're. Done. Elite Archimedia. With two of four personal modifiers and all the weapons. And 
yeah, completed it this week on Excalibur with a full squad, but I wanted to push myself and see, can we get it? Can we do it solo too? What? Where is the one charging? Same strat, upper and then lower. So the damage attenuation shows me that the uh, old fire is not actually really worth using. So sometimes I'm losing precious few seconds on old firing when it doesn't actually do that substantial a chunk to this guy. But it does nuke everything around us, so that's worth it. Oh, don't die now. Don't lag out now, Hector. Sweet, sweet. First time we've managed to leak Archimedia solo. Didn't quite do all modifiers, can't do this without energy, with the weapons that we had, can't do it without operator, but I'm pretty happy with this result, managing to get through. Because yesterday, when we were focused on nuking with tragedy, we didn't get through the first mission. It kept resetting and we had to kill like 400 in an exterminate and there were just like 10 necromech guardians and like 10 ghosts chasing us. <laughs> it was just nuts. Yeah, GG. G to the G. basically got nothing. <laughs> it was just for the for the lungs. Yes, yeah, so those are the modifiers we had. If we'd been in a squad, definitely could have dropped like Operator, I'd say, and then we would have got this. That's actually what we did on the winning run. My Excal just needed the energy, and if you have like five enemies around you, you lose 10 energy per second, and too much. So the boss bar you get from Lloyd anyway, for just a couple dissolved arcanes. Yeah, you know, this is just from killing acolytes randomly when they invade us. So the Vosphor is not worth it on the elite Archimedia. And let's see what we get from Dufury. Power Ramp, Shiver, Light, Power Ramp. Obstruct outburst, nice, worth a bit. Exhilarate vendetta, sweet. <clears throat> the other one that's really worth getting is 
funnily enough, Necrolisk, I find, because you can get secondary income back. So, thanks a lot for watching. Oh, like 1 a.m. Managed to do it. Cheers. That was satisfying. Do not ask about bird one and two. Lots of natural light for a basement.